We begin at the state capitol where some proposed laws sparked fireworks this session, but only some passed. A massive education package passed with new money for teachers and families to send their kids to private schools. But from book bans to sports betting, News 4's Nick Camper reminds us of the hotly debated proposals that did not cross the finish line. Nick? Yeah, the session was off to a fast start. Lawmakers were talking about everything from regulating public libraries to banning drag shows and also clarifying abortion laws and legalizing sports betting, but they were never signed into law. There's a lot of issues that we all care about that didn't get to the finish line. It's just the nature of the beast. In a legislative session consumed by the back and forth negotiations regarding education spending, there were several bills left off the table, one with a lot of public interest, sports betting. But the bill was never voted on in the Senate. The Senate author Bill Coleman said at the time there are too many unresolved issues that ultimately killed it this year, referencing the shaky relationship between the governor and tribal leaders. Last year was defined by the state's ban on abortion, with promises to follow up with legislation to clarify rules regarding exceptions such as rape or incest. That didn't happen. Other culture war hot topics ended up evaporating. There was a bill to regulate public libraries, forcing some readers to get a parental permission slip for checking out certain books or banning others deemed to be against community standards altogether. It didn't pass. And while a ban on gender-affirming care for transgender minors will become law, a bill to ban drag shows will not. Senate Democrats point out what they say were missed opportunities to help everyday Oklahomans in the budget. In terms of re-employment for people, in terms of helping people get the kind of training and education they need, um, secure their mental health and more, that we continue to shortchange. Spending picked up by over 20 percent in education and public health. But lawmakers did not approve a grocery sales tax cut, a corporate tax cut, or a personal income tax cut. House Speaker Charles McCall says an income tax cut will be the main focus during next session. We'll be pressing that hard next year. That That is the one thing that must get accomplished in the 59th legislature. Lawmakers are expected to come back in June to close out the special session they started two weeks ago. It is limited to only budget-related bills. Now, because next year will still be considered the 59th legislature, bills that were not passed this year can be reconsidered during next year's session.